Number one, find the area for each of the following shaded region. So we can find the area of shaded region by doing integration. So we have to know from where to where, and then we need to know at what axis. So it's very important to know what axis because uh, if it's uh, on the x axis attached to the x axis we are using the x and attached to the y axis we are using the y okay so here a we can see that it is attached to the x axis so you know this one is the x axis the graph is attached to the x axis so we are using the x so y the x right so just showing c you see here this one is attached to the y axis so when attached to the y axis we are going dy y when using dy it's x dy so you see it's opposite x dy y dx and for b also we can see that it is attached to the x axis so this one is dx so we are using y dx so we have to know what is our value of y so now we have y y is equal to 3x minus x square plus 2 right so when we integrate Area is equal to integration of y dx and we need to see that the area is from 0 to 3. So don't forget to write 0 to 3 which is equal to from 0 to 3 our y is equal to 3x minus x square plus 2 dx. So now we can integrate. So how to integrate? So first we add, we add power with 1 and then we divide with power after we add right so add power with one and then we divide with the power so here area is equal to this one so i integrate 3x first so we know that add power with one x is actually x power of one so three is constant so constant we can just write it won't affect the integrate the integration so this one is x 1 plus 1 divided with power, power now become 2, right? So this is the first one done. And then minus the second one, this one is x square. So add the power with 1, it will become x3. And then we divide with power, okay, down, done. And the third one is plus 2, right? So for a constant, we just add up x. After we done integrate every term, then we just close it back and put back 0, 2, Okay. So this one is actually 3 over 2x square minus x cubed over 3 plus 2x 0 to 3 which is equal to. Now we can substitute. So we see here we have 3 and 0. So we first we will substitute x with the first one first and then we minus and then later on we will substitute with 0. So first we substitute with 3. So 3 over 2, x will be substituted with 3 square minus, this one is 3 cube right, x cube. So 3 cube over 3 plus 2, x will become 3. Alright, so this one is the first one. Now the second one, we substitute everything with, we substitute x with 0. So we know that 3 over 2 times 0 square will become 0 right. So this one is also, when we substitute this one with 0, and when we say that 0 is 0, 0 over 3, anything divided by 3 will become 0. Or just Okay, I just show you this one will become 0 cube over 3 or just 0. And this one will become 2, 0. Which is equal to, so this one is 3 times 3 square, we get 27 over 2 minus 3 cubed is 27 over 3 plus 2 times 3 is 6 and then we minus with 0 because everything at the back here we get 0. So just use calculator and then you will get 21 over 2 unit square because it is area, okay. So B again attached to the x axis, so it's y dx. So 
area is equal to integration of y dx and we can see that the area is from negative 3 up to 2 so this one is negative 3 up to 2 So this one is negative 3, 2. So our y is equal to half x square dx. This one is y and this one is the dx. So we know we can take out the constant. So this one you can half negative 3 to 2 x square dx. So this one is half. So we see here we can integrate this one. So to integrate, we add the power with 1. So x square will become x2 plus 1. And then we divide with the power. So only one term here, so this one term, and then this one don't forget, negative 3 up to 2. So this one is half, now we can substitute. So no, just write x3 over 3 first, this one is 2 over negative 3. You can choose to take out 3, it doesn't matter, or you can just leave it inside here. So this one, you see 1, 2, so first you substitute x with 2, so this one will become 2 cubed over so can you see how I substitute 2, right? 2 cubed over 3. And then you minus. So you substitute with negative 3. So this one will become negative 3 cubed over 3. Okay, now just use calculator and you are supposed to get 35 over 6 unit square. Okay, so for C, so we, uh, I told you before in A, when I explained that, we should see uh, which axis the graph is attached to. And this one is attached to the Y axis. So attached to the Y axis, we are using DY. So if you are using DY, this one is supposed to be X DY. Okay, so this one area is equal to integration of X DY. And we should see from where to where. And this one is from negative 2 up to 1. So we have to know our x so that we can substitute. So it is given that x is equal to this one, right? So this one is equal to negative 2 to 1. x is equal to y squared plus y minus 6 dy. So we see here when we have dy and y, we are integrating in term of y. So here we can integrate. So it is enough space. Just, okay. So y square, we add 1 to the power, right? It will become y3 and then divide with power. Okay, done. Plus, so y is actually y power of 1. So we add 1 to 1. is actually y power of 2 divided with the power 2 minus. So 6 will become 6y. So if you have a constant, we just add up the uh, variable. Okay. So this one is from negative 2 to 1. Now is the time for substitution. So here we see here 1 to negative 2, right? Negative 2 to 1, right? So we substitute up here first, 1. So here y will be substituted with 1. So here we have 1 cubed divided by 3. See, I substitute y with 1. Plus, so we are going to substitute this one equation. So this one is 1 square over 2 minus 6 1. So all here I substitute y with 1. After done minus and then going to substitute y with negative 2. So this one would be negative 2 the power of 3 divided by 3 plus this one is negative 2. So you see the second one square divided by 2 minus 6 negative 2. So I close this one back. So here, 1 over 3, 1 cube is 1, plus 1 over 2 minus 6, minus this one is negative 2, cube is negative 8 over 3, this one is negative 2, square is 4 over 2, this one is neg okay, 6 times negative 2 is negative 12, and we have negative, which is, or you can, which is equal to negative 33 over 2. So the area needs to be positive because it is area and area cannot be negative. So it's actually 33 over 2 unit square. So the reason why this one is negative because it is on the, see, on the left side of the axis. But the actual area is 33 over 2 unit square.